this video will help you install and set up the bible note for studying the bible we will also briefly look at the features of the notebooks that come with the program let's begin first we need to make sure that your computer has microsoft OneNote 2010 or 2013 earlier versions are not supported Click on search button, type OneNote. To start the program quickly in the future, you can add a shortcut to start screen. Right click on the program and click on pin to start. Next, we will download the program. Go to the website BibleNote.pro Click on the Download tab Then click on the Download link for appropriate version of the OneNote. To find out which version of the OneNote is installed, click on the Am I Running Office X86 or X64 link. Next, click on the Download Models for the program link and choose the model that you would like to use, for example the English Standard Version. Run the downloaded program. Make sure that one node is closed before you install the program. Click Next. Next, next, close. After the program installs, click the module file. Click OK. The window Bible Note parameters will open. We see that the English Standard Version module is installed and activated. Click OK. The program will create the needed notebooks. And ask for indexing the Bible notebook. Click Yes. After the notebooks are created and the Bible notebook is indexed, the parameters window will close. Now you are ready to go. Please note, if there is no visible Bible note tab in the OneNote ribbon, follow the advices in the manual. The section Frequently Asked Questions. The program comes with three pre installed notebooks the Bible, Bible Study, and Comments to the Bible. Let's look at this a little closer. The Bible Notebook contains the complete Bible for your personal study as well as a section for key words. The video working with the Bible explains this in more detail. Click on a book, for example Exodus, and to the right you will see its chapter list. To save space on the navigation bar, you can minimize the Old and New Testaments by clicking on the minus button. The Bible Study Notebook contains all of your notes from courses, conferences, sermon notes, lesson plans, etc. 
for each different subject it is recommended to create a separate subfolder to keep everything organized you can find out more about this by watching the video working with OneNote's structure. The comments to the Bible notebook contains comments that you have added about a particular verse or word. You can minimize the notebook by clicking the arrow on the right side. The structure of this notebook cannot be edited manually. More information about adding your own comments can be found in the video Adding Comments to Your Bible. More information about using the program Bible Note is available by clicking on the Bible Note tab and selecting the manual option. And of course you can always go to our website biblenote.pro for even more information. Thank you for watching.